Miss Dawny P. I'm back again with part three of the um, Affinity Box Crocodile um, video tutorial. And this um, part, part three, we're going to actually assemble the crocodile. OK, so let's let's get started. So what I've done, um, I've cut this is your main part that we um, that we did. And because this is a single box and we're not going to join any other pieces, we can just get rid of these two side panel things here we don't need those for this um, I've gone ahead and creased everything and now oh and what else I've done I've put some double-sided tape this is the inside so I've put it on that first tab there and on the outside I've put some on that little glue tab and on this tab hard to see on the green I know there and there okay so before we actually stick it together, we're going to decorate the inside as much as we possibly can. Some, some parts of it we can't, but we can do that piece, that piece, that piece and that piece. This is where the tongue will go, so we can't actually do that yet. But if we get as much of this done as we possibly can, it will make our life a bit easier. So let's go ahead and do that. Oops. So that's one there. my um, bit of kitchen roll just to press that down oops there's a bit of spare glue uh, and then the side one two have to forgive me if this isn't exactly straight and then we'll do another piece here this bit we'll use that other triangle and we'll put it down this end here like that okay so now we've done that we can actually um, make a start in putting this box together and first thing I'm going to do is take the double-sided tape off the lid tabs so those two long ones there, I can get it off. And then they just fold in like that. I'll do that one last. Now we're going to turn it over. I'm going to take the tape off. One, two, three. And then fold them in like that. There's one, two, and this last one, three. Now I will take the tape off that little glue tab on the end and I'll swing that across and that will hold that lid. So that's the basis of our box. Now we start and put some stuff on the inside. So the first thing I'm going to do is add his, put his tongue in. And that just slides in like that. Oops, I've got a bit of glue on there. Oops, a daisy. Didn't want to do that. Okay, let's just slide you into place. Wipe that glue and that's the tongue done. Now um, for the, the teeth, we're going to do put the inside teeth in first or the bottom teeth. I keep saying inside teeth. I mean the bottom teeth and they go on the outside here. The lower teeth. That's what I should have said. So that's number one on there. Now, if you find that your box won't close, like I said, it, it might be that these teeth are kind of in the way. So I just check it every now and again. If it's no biggie, as I said, you can just chop them down if they are too long. Oops. And they go on here 
like that. Try and get this a bit straighter. It's a bit of tape hanging out the end. I'll, I'll sort that out at the end. Okay, and I can close my lid so well I could a minute ago that's it okay right upper teeth now this is just a question of taking that backing tape off and I like to just to add a little row of glue just to be on the safe side and I'm going to put him on there like that if it does overhang a little bit you can just trim that down there we go and the same on the other side stuff sticks doesn't it right okay and they're gonna go there like that Okay, let's make sure he's shut. Okay, um, right. Now we've got one piece left. But, so what we're going to do first before we put that on, we'll add the eyes on. Um, and what we're going to do, the, 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 the pupil part of the eye obviously faces you. So you want to put your glue on that little round bit there. Quite close to the middle because I think they're eyes are quite kind of close together but a bit sly looking aren't they and on this one now to be honest it doesn't really matter if you do cover that back bit up because it's going to go towards the back of the box and you're not going to see it but i just like to do it so it's nice and all nice and neat and tidy and we're just going to cover that up like so okay right we're gonna put this bit on onto his um head now let's put that on here and try and get it straight and i might just snip tiny bit off there like that okay nostrils next so um i'm just going to just chop a little bit off there like that give it a bend like so and then i'm going to cut this to a point so cut that off there and that off there it's quite difficult to see can you see what i've done there I just chopped it to a point. In fact, it probably needs to go a little bit more like so, like that. And then all I'm going to do with that is put some glue on here. And then that will slide under here if I can get it on. If not, it will have to just, no, it's on. There we go. Just let that grab for a little minute because I'm going to um, pierce this bit next. Okay, let's make a bit of have a bit of a tidy. Right, next thing is we need to put some string um, just behind his nose, just about here there or thereabouts you know be careful when you're doing this because um it's quite easy to uh stab yourself if you're not careful let's see if i can put that down i wonder if that'll go down on the there and let's try that now whoops we've bent him just go easy because we've got um three layers one of them's the cotton paper so we've made a hole and now we're just going to get our string and thread this through from the inside out like 
and that's that left a bit of a long tail there we don't need all that so that's that okay it's going to go between his eyes just for the second for a second um if you have your hot glue gun switched on it's probably an idea to um use some wider it's probably an idea to hot glue it down but mrs organized here hasn't switched hers on so we'll go with plan b and we'll stick a bit of double-sided tape and top it off with a little bit of um, deluxe adhesive as well so we'll take the tape off here there's one there's two let's fill those ends in and like i said i will actually um put a little bit of wet glue on as well just for super safety make it a bit sturdier okay now he is gonna just sit let's bring our box in he's gonna sit on there and what i try and do is i line that corner up with this corner here and we'll get it scoot it into position like that and don't do what i've done and glued the tape down if you don't have any green tape a uh, green twine if you've got get your nouveau pens and some plain string you'll be fine with that now I'm just going to put a little hole in here with my craft pick. Oh, I'll tell you what I haven't done. I haven't, I haven't done my tag. Anyway, I'm sorry about this. I haven't um, I put my tag down somewhere and I don't quite know where I've done, what I've done with it. But anyway, you tie this onto your tag. Pull that through. And there he goes. That'll have you pull me on it. Like that, see? Just bear with and I'll see if I can find it. Because it's got to be somewhere. Silly Billy, I found it. Okay, so we're now going to just thread that through there. Like that. You don't want it too long. Sort of about there, really. And then just tie a little knot in there. And again, for super safety, actually, that's probably a bit long, is it? Yeah, it's a bit long, that. Let's uh, shorten it up a bit. Oh, more fingers and thumbs now. Never mind. Never mind. I'll do it again properly after. Okay, and that's our knot in there. And I'll just need to trim that down. And there he is. All done. There he goes. It's pretty cool, isn't he? So that's it done. Now, if you um, do um, make, happen to make one of these, do let me know and tag me in and I, I can come and have a little mooch, a little nosy. Um, keep your eyes open as well, because I've got some other things planned for this kind of with this with this die set um, on a similar vein. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you have as much fun making them as I did. Take care, stay safe and I'll see you soon. Bye.